this is target uh, 1b day 2 so again we're covering linear equations in one variable so your objectives for this lesson I can solve linear advanced linear equations requiring multiple multiple steps I can solve an equation requiring multiple steps and explain in words what is occurring at each step of the solution all right so we're gonna be building on those day one problems the steps are gonna be the same you um, probably or not probably you will definitely need to perform some kind of order of operations on one or both sides of the equation prior to kind of doing things how it was done in day one so just a quick recap on order of operations remember gems g-e-m-s you um, probably have heard PEMDAS before or some version of that I prefer gems for this reason and I'm gonna go through this so G stands for grouping symbols first so you start off by eliminating those um, usually by either combining things inside parentheses or grouping symbols or doing um, the distributive property so grouping symbols again usually parentheses could also be absolute value symbols brackets um, if anytime we get into some new stuff, I'll, I'll remind you that it's a grouping symbol. Um, e, exponents, you do those next. M, multiplication and division. So you, there is no like set order. It's not like you have to do multiplication before division. What you do is you work the problem from left to right. Um, and the reason for this is if you have like something like four divided by five times two, you wouldn't do the 5 times 2 first, you'd do the 4 divided by 5 first. Um, just an example, because you have division and then multiplication, so you work the problem from left to right. And then S is subtraction and addition, and it's the same thing. Um, do the problem from left to right. All right, so first example, solve the following equation. So we have negative 5 times the quantity, negative 2m minus 9, equals... 8m minus 7. So we have our original problem, and we have parentheses on the left hand side, sorry, left hand side of the expression. So we're going to distribute this negative 5 first. So we take negative 5, we multiply it by negative 2m, and then we take negative 5 and we multiply it by negative 9, because remember, include the symbol to the left, and it's a mi even though it's negative 2m minus 9 we are going to include that um, as a negative. So negative 5 times negative 2m is a positive 10m, because remember two negatives make a positive when you multiply them, or divide. And then negative 5 times negative 9 is a positive 45. And then you just go through and you solve the problem like we did in previous days. Now this one has a variable on both sides, so subtract the smaller one, subtract 8m from both sides, that will clear this side giving you 2m plus 45 equals negative 7. Then subtract the 45 from both sides. You'll get 2m equals negative 52. And then finally divide by 2 to get m equals negative 26 for your answer. And again, you can plug that negative 26 in for m and double check and make sure that it works if you'd like. And I would recommend it on a quiz or a test. All right, so second example. This is one where you're going to be kind of like filling in the blanks, and you're going to be giving your reason why. So it's not just a matter of doing the problem. It's explaining each step. So we have negative 3x minus 5 times the difference of x and 4 equals 28. So negative 3x, we're not going to worry about anything with that because there's no grouping symbols with that. But there is grouping symbols here. All right, so we have this x minus 4. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to distribute the negative 5 to the x and to the minus 4, the negative 4, however you want to look at it. And that's going to give us negative 3x minus 5x plus 20. So again, remember, include the symbol to the left. So we have negative 5 times negative 4. That's how we got the positive 20 equals 28. The reason that we have this is because we distribute it. So we distribute. Okay, so for step two, if you look from step one to step two now, we have negative 8x plus 20 equals 28. So what did we do here? What did we do in this step? 
we have negative 3x minus 5x. So what we did is we combined like terms. All right, so we put we did we performed the operation negative 3x minus 5x because they have identical variables. And then the rest, you might want to just go through and double check. So what um, just so you can kind of see how the flow goes. So here we like subtracted 20 from both sides. And that's how we got to this one here. Reason, subtract 20 from both sides. And we divide both sides by negative 8. And that's how we got here. So reason, divide by negative 8. And that's really all there is to it. So uh, that is it for target 1B. Um, don't worry, we will get more practice. And if you have any questions, as always, please do not hesitate to let me know.